So what I have here is the Apple Watch Ultra. I've been using this for about four months now and I've always been a huge fan of the Apple Watch, but my main issue has always been the battery life. Needing to charge the watch every single night or morning is just awful. Even though you put yourself in some sort of a routine where you don't actually think about it, you still have to do it. So every single night or every single day, depending on when you usually charge it, if it's the morning or if it's the afternoon or if it's throughout the night, depending on your notifications and your tracking, it's still awful that you need to charge the watch every single day. So one of the huge reasons I was drawn to the Apple Watch Ultra was of course the extended battery life. So for my usage, I can easily get up to three days or more with this Apple Watch Ultra. But of course it depends on your notifications and tracking and all of that. So if you have the always on display enabled, it's gonna reduce your battery life. The same goes with sleep tracker and other notifications that might run throughout the day. But coming from the Apple Watch 7, I must say it was a huge upgrade in performance and how convenient it is to use and also, of course, the battery life. So for that reason, you know, I'm never going back to something like an older Apple Watch or any other watch at all. I'm sticking with the Apple Watch Ultra because it's one of the best well, it is the best watch that I've had to date. Now, ever since I got the Apple Watch 7 and now the brand new Ultra, it's basically become my new phone. So it takes away all the unnecessary screen time, which I usually have when I'm next to my phone. So the times that I don't check my notifications on, on the watch and then go and check it out on my phone later, it's so easy to just swipe up and then go into Instagram or YouTube and check out some shorts and, uh, you know, it's become some of a habit and I think a lot of you guys can relate to that as well. It's not healthy, it's not good and that's one of the huge reasons I'm going with the Apple Watch because I can check the notifications there as well and with time these, you know, these devices, it's just gonna get better and better and more convenient. And now with the larger display as well, it's so convenient and easy to touch around on the Apple Watch Ultra. So because of that, it's really important for me to have as much battery life as possible. So to get three days plus out of this watch is just amazing and a huge, a huge reason why I got it. Now, it's also a really expensive watch and it's the most expensive watch I've ever had. And when I walked out of the store, it felt so wasted. It felt so wasted to buy this watch when I had the Apple Watch Series 7. But man, am I glad that I changed it. Now, because it was so expensive, I also skipped out on the latest iPhone model, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Since I'm mostly taking family photos and videos with my phone, upgrading from the iPhone 13 Pro Max wouldn't make a difference to me. So skipping out on the iPhone 14 Pro Max was not a huge deal to me. Even though I like to get the newest iPhone every single time, as of now, with the Apple Watch Ultra, I don't see any point in upgrading from the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If I had the iPhone 11, I wouldn't see any point either because like I said, I'm only doing family and video stuff with my phone and it's the email and this text message and I don't use it for creating content like I'm doing with the Sony A7S III or my drones or anything like that. So I basically just need to text, call and check emails. And that's everything I basically need from a phone. Now I'm not the most sporty guy, which has the Apple Watch Ultra. I would say, I would rather say I'm the most average guy owning the Apple Watch Ultra. So for me, or for a lot of people that knows me, don't see the point in me getting this watch because I can't fully benefit from the features. But again, it's a watch, it looks awesome, and it has some features that I really like, which we're gonna go through next. So let's talk about how I use the Apple Watch Ultra and what features I use on a daily basis. Now, number one is sleep tracker. This is a feature I started using halfway through my time with the Apple Watch 7 and I really enjoy it. I really like to see how my sleep is and how it's progressing from day to day and uh, how my rhythm is when I'm sleeping. I really, really like that feature. And what the sleep tracker basically does is that it tracks your sleep pattern and it gives you the information about your REM sleep, core sleep, and deep sleep. And you can also set your goals and see how your progression is. You can also see the total time you spent in bed and also how much sleep you got that night. It also gives you an update on your health by monitoring your heartbeats and breathing. And with the extended battery life, which is absolutely 
amazing. It allows me to have this on and still get three plus days out of this watch, which is insane. Now, the next one is my car. So this is also a little bit personal. It depends on your car brand and if that brand has an app which you can connect to your iPhone and then link over to your Apple Watch. But since I have that, I have this enabled for a few reasons. So living here in Norway, it's extremely cold at times. And I would say we have cold temperatures um, six out of 12 months. And that means I need to start a car in order to warm it up so my kids don't freeze. But since my car is electric and I have the app, I can start it from my phone. And I don't even have to start the car. I can just enable the heating, which is really, really awesome. Now, of course I have this same app on my phone, but again, this goes back to the unnecessary screen time, which has been a habit for way too long. So having the app on my watch is a big deal to me and it really saves me about time and effort and I can be more productive and I don't have to take up my phone and just swipe just, just that one time, you know, checking Instagram, checking some reels, checking some, you know, anything. I don't need to do that. I don't have to do that. I, I don't get that distraction when I enable everything on my phone, which I really, really like. Now, what I really like about this app is that I can also check the status of how much battery is left and how long I can drive with that current battery. And if it should happen that I can't remember where I parked the car, it also gives me an accurate location of where my car is parked. And I can easily navigate through maps to get a direct route to the car. I can also lock and unlock the car and it gives me an alert if the car is moving without my consent. So one of my most used apps on the Apple Watch Ultra is uh, the car app actually. That's one of my most used apps. I use it every single day. I can also set a timer to do that on the app and of course I can do it in the car now that I think of it. I can set a timer that goes on every single day at the exact same time, every single day. But yeah, I still have the app and I prefer to use the app because it's an app. Now, number three is the look. Not as much as a feature, but more like the style and how it looks on your wrist. Now, I'm a huge fan of the replaceable bands, which Apple has. And I think this is, this is my favorite, the Alpine Loop orange, I think this looks so good. But it doesn't really matter what type of band you're using, whether this is an Alpine Loop or a Leather Link or, you know, any other type of, uh, of bands. But having the option to change to different bands depending on your mood, activity or clothing is something that I'm a huge fan of. Now, moving over to number four, and this is the remaining features which I use with the watch and how my layout is set. Now, looking at the screen here, I have a time zone of LA, which gives me the time difference between uh, LA and here where I live in Norway uh, when I need it. Now, and when I travel overseas, I can easily set this up so I can always follow the local time here at home. I also have the basic features like current dates and temperatures, so I can easily easily check these without bringing up my phone. And on the bottom center, I have placed the battery indications so I can see the current time left before I need to charge. So that's basically the remaining features that I have on my watch and which is on my display. And um, yeah, I keep this original look on my watch and I haven't changed it. I have a few other different layouts. Uh, but I really like the ones that I have right here right now. So my overall experience having the Apple Watch now for about four months, I really like it. I really like the titanium case with the sapphire glass on top and this makes it more resistant to scratches and marks if you accidentally hit something. I hit my watch every single day, every single day. Having two kids, you know, my arms are everywhere and uh, you know, my the tiniest, the smallest, my daughter is only one and a half years old and coming with all these different toys and just smashing it on me, I, you know, ugh. Then she hits the watch and uh, you know, it takes a hit but there's no no, no visual marks on the watch at this time, which I'm really satisfied with. If I take a look at the seven here, I can already see that it has some scratches. Now, I've been using this for, for about one and a half years now, or two years, one year, I can't remember, but you know, this has some scratches to the glass and because this is a stronger crystal, the sapphire crystal on top, then I think this will take, you know, if it's gonna get some scratches, it's gonna take some really long 
time. So I really like the case and I really like the gloss and the overall quality that you feel when you put this on your wrist. And I also think the overall design of the Apple Watch Ultra with the included bands is so amazing compared to the other Apple Watches. And with the Alpine Loop uh, especially, I think it really, it really is something different. I also find the big size to fit perfectly on my wrist, uh, but if I should draw a con from its size, it has to be the height of it when wearing gloves. But other than that, I think it's the perfect size. I also like the fact that it doesn't have the curved edges like the Apple Watch 7 has. And the bigger screen makes it so much more convenient to navigate around and through apps. The brightness of the watch is too thousand nits so it's gonna be a lot easier to see in bright sunlight now i also have the always on display on and the brightness set to medium you can always turn this off in the settings menu and uh, it will give you a little bit longer battery life now of course we also have the brand new action button which was introduced to the apple watch ultra and you can customize this through the settings menu on your watch or in the app on your phone now i've set this to waypoint and it does a really good job in the location i use it now you can also use it with shortcuts which i've been added lately just to check it out and it allows me to set up a different shortcuts like turning off the lights here and then open up a workout program or anything related to the apps that I have on my watch, which is really, really awesome. Now, like I said, I mainly used the waypoints up until now, and this is also connected to my phone. So I don't have to track the footsteps back to where I first started the tracking. I can also just select my car and it will take me automatically to the location of my car, which is actually really awesome. So my overall conclusion of this watch, I've been using this now for about four months and I can't say anything else than that I love it so much. It's probably my best purchase of 2022 after the Mini 3 Pro. Of course, nothing beats the Mini 3 Pro, but the Apple Watch Ultra it's an amazing watch. It is pricey, but having the extended battery life, I think that that alone is worth the high price tag. And the watch has features for everyone. So it doesn't matter if you, you're you not the most active person, you don't have to be a surfer, a snowboarder, a mountain climber, you know, a hiker, you don't have to be any of that diver to be included. So I still think it's worth the price tag, uh, but really consider your needs and whether, whether you need to get the Ultra or if you can settle with the, something like the 7. But I, if you're gonna get one, I would say the Ultra because of the extended battery life. It has basically changed everything. I hate charging the Apple Watch every single day and now I can do it every third day or fourth day depending on the notifications that I enable. So let me know if you have any questions related to this watch and if I missed something, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you already have the Apple Watch, you know, throw in some comments down below and let people know what you think of the Apple Watch Ultra and if it's worth it. Now, with that said, that's gonna be everything for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider subscribing for more videos. Also hit that like on the way down there and notifications on, and I will see you in the next video.